<clears throat> Can everybody hear me? I'm not sure. I just entered live. সবাইকে দেখতে পাচ্ছেন কি না জানি না তবে আমি চেষ্টা করব একটা ছোট শো পোস্ট করতে শো এর নাম হচ্ছে হালাল হোমিস এন্ড আমরা মোটামুটি রেডি টু স্টার্ট দ্য শো তো হ্যালো ভিউয়ার্স আসসালামু আলাইকুম দিস ইজ योर বয় কিঙ্গো পলি আমাকে এই অবস্থায় গেট আপে এবং এই পরিস্থিতিতে যারা দেখতেছেন যারা যেখান থেকে অংশগ্রহণ করতেছেন সবাইকে অনেক বেশি ধন্যবাদ এটা একটা সারপ্রাইজ ছিল টুকটাক বলা যায় অ্যান্ড আই উড রিয়েলি অ্যাপ্রিসিয়েট সবাই যদি লাইফটা এই মুহূর্তে থেকে শেয়ার করে দেন এবং সবাই একসাথে কানেক্টেড হতে পারি জয়েন করতে পারি ফর দিস কনভারসেশন আমি একটু অন্যভাবে শুরু করতেছি আজকে এবং আমার শোয়ের আজকে ফার্স্ট গেস্ট দিয়ে আমি ট্রাই করব আজকে শুরুটা করা আপনারা অনেকেই আমাদের এই ভাইকে চিনেন হিজ নেম ইজ দাউদ স্যাভেজ লস অফ পিপল ইন বাংলাদেশ লস হিজ কন্টেন্ট লস অফ পিপল হ্যাভ এনকাউন্টার হিজ কন্টেন্ট অন ফেসবুক অ্যান্ড ইউটিউব বাট হ্যাভ এন গট দ্য চ্যান্স টু মিট হিম পার্সোনালি সো আই উড রিয়েলি অ্যাপ্রিসিয়েট টু ব্রিং হিম অন স্ক্রিন উইথ মি টুডে অ্যান্ড হ্যাভ দিস অ্যামেজিং কনভারসেশন বিটুইন ব্রাদার্স উই আর ওয়েয়ারিং মাস সো আই জাস্ট গান ব্রিং হিম রাইট অওয়ে ইন ফাইভ ফোর থ্রি ইনভাইটমেন্ট <laughs> <laughs> where i could actually have him for let's say few minutes so jara jara jekhan theke join kortesen shobai ke let's say i'm welcoming everyone and onek manush ekhane comments kortesen ei muhurte do of comments are coming brother so uh, is it okay if we remove the mask and before removing the mask um wait 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 bro before removing the mask i'll say i'm a virtually connection connected hocche ekhane um, we are connecting virtually here but still we need to remember the safety I mean, yeah everybody exactly. is feeling you know so thug and savage uh, that they don't wear a mask anymore <laughs> so this is like a small reminder i guess about if you would agree with me this is like a small well, reminder that wherever we are wherever you are having a conversation or even having a meeting or something we should always have this mask have the mask and, exactly mashallah you are a role model bro bro no you are the role model you want no, 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 no. if someone goes to apple store if muslim goes to apple store i mean this going to hit you hard right now <laughs> i have been a very nice person for a while but right now i'm going to be savage with mr doubt savage you're the savage bro you're the real savage no, no, i'm just going to bring out the savage person in doubt you know tonight is going to be special so let us remove the mask i mean um, if uh, if things are going to be good from now <sighs> Okay. So Mr. Daud Savage, how are you today? Alhamdulillah, bro. Like I uh, I've this is such a I feel so special today that I'm in this live. Uh firstly, like I want to start off by apologizing. <laughs> apologizing. Know, apologizing. Yeah, listen to me, bro. If you guys didn't know the viewers, brother Kingopoli, brother Tanvir, he uh told we were supposed to go live yesterday at 6 p.m. but like i told him i warned him i'm like brother like it has happened to me before my like my family comes up suddenly with some kind of plan or like some kind of emergency and yesterday my mom came up with this emergency like she had to go to the bank or somewhere i don't remember but then she decide when and when i messaged brother tanvir i'm like i have to go with my mom that's when my mom told me like she can go with uh, my brother little brother and the live was postponed to the next day and today in the morning she took me to the bank and then she did some shopping you know mashallah <laughs> of course when really it comes first you see you see yeah, so the old savage is explaining the one most important point that we all should take here the family comes first definitely bro definitely family family is such a blessing subhanallah 
alhamdulillah mm. for everything especially mothers and parents bro and uh, and then like when i got back home i played dhuhr ate food and then i went to sleep then i woke up like 10 minutes later brother tanveer called me i'm like oh my god <laughs> <laughs> i feel very ashamed bro i'm so sorry no and it's, by the way it's just so fine brother i mean we are alive we are in good shape yeah. we are in good health um uh, thanks to almighty allah for everything that he has blessed us with and also this opportunity for me to talk with you side by side and um, what i can i I'm, i'm so excited i mean we have so many audiences i'm just going to name few of them who have just joined with us um uh, mr saiman there is also tanha pu there is rafia there is anas there is maid there is subha ali there is uh, alif there is mamun there is iman there is shubho comments are flooding on the screen bro what should i do i'm i'm just going to take one comment i'm just going to i can't see your comments guys i'm so sorry like he no, can no, see I'm, it, I'm, but i can't. Oh, no no i'm going to i'm going to i'm going to help you with that thank you bro thank <laughs> But before you, before you start, let me let me say something. Let me say something. I I I hope I don't forget this. So sure, we sure. <clears throat> uh we had a conversation before me and brother Tanvir. Mashallah, he is such such a sincere brother. He told me how he struggled, like when he realized all the things, and uh, like he he's trying to like make himself better. Subhanallah, he's. I'm saying this in front of you. I shouldn't be no. saying this in front of you, but Wallahi, brother. Mashallah I was I was feeling so embarrassed when I heard your story and how you left all everything just for the cause of Allah Mashallah may Allah reward you immensely bro first and, of and all I'm still I'm still trying and fighting and learning at the same time bro it has that's, been that's, a hard journey that's, 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 but that's, with the blessing of Allah everything is possible that I believe and no matter always, what it, the struggle always it. continues that's how it is bro And secondly bro this is this is such an important thing I've been wanting to say this for such a long time to my uh Bangla viewers by Allah I like I have literally not come across one Bengali brother or sister who is rude I swear Mashallah. every every I every mean, Bangla comment and sister. love comment and love spam it Bangladeshi flag and love reaction I for swear. brother Daud I mean such a generous person explaining no, things bro. from heart <laughs> no no banay kuch bolte sen honestly speaking bro i'm just going to go native for a while please sorry for the interruption but uni banay kuch bolte sen na he's a very humble person uni onek byastotar majhe amader ke shomoy ta dicchen in his very busy schedule he has finally found a few minutes to spend with us bangladeshis we are we are in love brother i mean we are from different uh, countries but connected by one umma you know i mean that's one umma that's, bro, how strong, that's how strong we are um i, I really want to take some time to appreciate his efforts and his um brilliant choices on making contents to make sure that people love and get the things that they really need to hear and see i mean have you ever faced brother daud's content and haven't seen people giving love via his brother daud we love you love your contents and concepts mashallah bro i'm just going to take i'm i'm just, I'm, 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 i'm brother that sorry for interrupting i'm i'm going to make the savage person out of you bring him out within few seconds just wait i'm just going to take a comment very 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 a very precious one okay okay mr md fahim hasan say daud is love please say something for this man brother mr fahim hasan mashallah beautiful name brother i can see your uh, profile it's very tiny Mashallah, I mean, he's nice. he's sitting on a motorcycle, bro. He's uh, oh, he's, he's, he's on the high love. level, but he said Dawood is love. People with motorcycles love Mr. Dawood from Bangladesh. <laughs> That's how specific I'm gonna be today, <laughs> bro. I I I feel I feel so honored. I swear, bro. I I couldn't I couldn't finish. But look, see see, my uh, my Bangla brothers and sisters, honestly, they treat me so nice whenever I post videos on Facebook or on YouTube. I come across I go through the comments and trust me I don't find one bangla brother one bangla brother saying even little bit of uh, like a sentence that would be like not good I swear all they do is spread love mashallah and this mashallah. made my love this made my love for uh, Bangladesh grow so much and by the way in in uh, in a short amount of time I'm going to tell you guys a secret like my relation to uh, Uh, with Bangladesh like it's very shocking it's very shocking i've been holding i haven't even told brother tanvir about it 
Oh and my God, this is live and exclusive, brothers. Whoever is joining us here in the live, please feel free to share the live, brother. Thou sharing secrets. Give it to the caption, spam it, brothers. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Let me share this on my Facebook. Just give me, just give me like two oh, minutes. Sure, sure, sure. sure. I'm, I'm just gonna take right few now. comments. I am gonna take few comments. One of your brothers, a lovely brother from Bangladesh, said, Daud, wanna see your sunglass? You wanna see my sunglass? <laughs> yeah. I mean, this okay, show is gonna, this is show is gonna be very amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, your camera is stuck a bit. I'll just wait for you. And by this time, yeah, he's getting the sunglass. Mr. Abdul Rahman Adur, I mean, Adur Bhai, Apnar Moni Chaske Purno with this because Daud Savage Bhai finally Amanisha Asen. So just give him some minutes. He's just gonna be back with his special sunglass on his contents. It could be um to digest the But the only reason I tried to make this happen is uh surprise the and mashallah the hajak. Surprise and motto Korea and Chesta put the Sishovake, Shamirake, when I show up Shamirake in the present corner. And there are so many good comments coming along one by one. Doubt, bro, are you there? Okay, okay, I shared it on Facebook. So sorry, it took me a while. Okay, you want me okay. to wear my ma uh, glasses? I mean, I mean, I mean, Abdul Rahman Abdul Hair Ekta Choto, and he had a small request, but okay. to see your sunglass. I mean, can okay. we can we make that happen? I have, bro? Can we make I that have happen? So many sunglasses. I'm gonna show you guys. All right. All right, on a comment to say, I'm not a comment. Go to the out savage pressure. I'm not sure. I mean, what to do? Hello, hosting court to play me Janina, but I'm just a poor woman. Dick take a best way to up under the doubt savage player inside out. So let her. I mean, um, what was his journey like? You have in Shashuru, I give him a new version. What is the main inspiration? In Bangladesh, on a on a by a bone and again to another doubt where video they get again cry among other personal question that you can reach out. Okay, you can feel free to reach me out on the comments and also him to ask out anything that you want to know personally because that would be a power to be to be be okay so okay this okay other way other way this is for you this is for you can can we can thou become Rahman, so this All is right. the sun for the mother you guys see me wearing oh, this one I become yeah. <laughs> yes. that's okay. what we're talking about bro i mean oh, way, Apnar, yeah 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 for the for my viewers, uh, if you're watching from my Facebook, I want to tell you guys. I want to share a secret with you guys. Keep watching till like uh, inshallah. Like in a few moments, I'm gonna tell you guys one of my deep relations relation with uh, Bangladesh. Inshallah, it will shock you inshallah, guys. Definitely. Inshallah, things will rock, bro. Um, Sadia Afrin, um, uh, Sadia Afrin Apu said, "Oh my God, oh my God!" Explanations like. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe this. What a surprise, Alhamdulillah. May Allah bless you both, brothers. Um, Alhamdulillah, sister. Um, we really appreciate being you know side by side and having an amazing conversation. We were having a conversation, you know, a few days ago, and we were thinking, how about we have this conversation with the brothers and sisters that we have throughout the world? I mean, you know, bringing them all all at one place on under one umbrella. So, brother Daud, um, um, I think we have um spent uh, spent 13 minutes already on the live and yeah. now we are gonna go with few questions first question i mean it's, it's like from the brothers and sisters from my country i guess how i mean how did you start your journey what was the first starting point maybe you know i i was waiting for this day to explain it to the people how i start off Inshallah. my journey so when a lot of people see my videos, they probably think like this person is very religious. He's very committed. But brothers and sisters, it's I struggle as much as everyone else struggles. Like everybody has the temptation to do uh, stuff for Allah. You know what I mean, right? <laughs> but in the end of the day, but in the end of the day, we have to fear Allah, not only fear Allah, but also remember his rewards in the Akhirah and be mm -hmm. grateful for all the things that we have. OK, now putting that sideways, how I start off. So, but I used to, to be honest, when I was really young, I, I really wanted to do something big. <laughs> All right. And the, the, we are going deep the, here, guys. We are going yeah. deep here. <laughs> so, uh, it, it kept on changing to different things. At first, I wanted to become a footballer. Then I wanted to uh, become a singer. A stuff below. Then I wanted to become, do this and do that. However, 
However, however, uh, later I wanted to make videos. I really loved being behind the camera. And if you, some of some of the people know that I started off making music videos and those kind of videos, right? Vlogs and stuff. Mm -hmm. But then yeah. after some time, Subhanallah, I wasn't really religious, even though I used to pray five times a day. But I always used to make du'a to Allah to uh, bring me closer to Him, to make my life a ibadah, a worship for Him, and to serve His cause, right? And Subhanallah, time to time, I started to develop this interest to make videos regarding Islam. But in the beginning, I wallahi, it was all accidental and it was all like a mistake. It wasn't on purpose. I used to make videos unintentionally, like people would find it like mocking Islam, right? But my yeah. intention wasn't that even though the approach was wrong. Then after some time, just recently, a month, a month or a two months ago, I saw this uh, a video where three people were talking and one of them was a sheikh, mashallah. And mashallah. he said, and he was pointing at one of my videos saying uh, that uh, shaking hands with a non-mahram, that video, right? So yeah. where I bring out a fake hand and shake, with, shake the hand of a non-mahram, that sheikh said, may Allah reward him for that. I love him so much for doing that. And that day I was fasting, alhamdulillah. That was the... I don't remember what day was it, but I was fasting since six days. When you're fasting, your mind opens. You think more clearly. You understand everything. Oh, the so focus that comes, to, comes to a single point. Yeah, exactly. It, you understand everything clearly. So that yeah. sheikh said, that sheikh said that he is uh, he indirectly he doesn't understand it. He thinks that he's promoting Islam, but in a way, he is. Uh, he didn't really say mocking Islam, but he said I wouldn't share these kind of videos because. They make religion like uh, religion of Islam not so serious. You get it? Yeah. That also not well, not good. That's when I realized I have to separate the comedic videos with religion videos. If it's religion, if it's based on Islam, I have to make it serious or emotional, but not like you know in a fun manner. Even if it's like in a entertaining manner, it has to have like ethics. You get yeah. me? So that's yeah, yeah. how my journey came to making videos, Islamic videos. MashaAllah, brothers. Alhamdulillah, what, what an amazing, inspiring story. Brothers and sisters who are watching. By the way, by the way, by the way. That yeah. sheikh, that sheikh who uh, said that I was uh, making, you know, I shouldn't be doing that. After he saw that apology video he posted on Facebook, he wrote, if someone knows Brother Dawood personally, please tell him that I love him. And uh, he said he said a few praising words, okay? I It made my heart melt. And uh, under the comments, someone asked, why are you saying this? He said, I, I made a video saying that uh, he what he's doing isn't really, uh, he's doing, what he's doing isn't really right. And he watched that video and he changed himself. And it made me feel so good, alhamdulillah. I mean, making progress over there, brother Daud, I guess um, happy yeah. moments are very few in our life, but those are very memorable, you know. Out of all the memories, yeah. happy moments are always in the heart. I mean, something that you have changed yourself into and getting praised by the person who, Say that your videos were inappropriate or maybe not crossing the line in a few terms. He appreciating you on the other hand, I mean, that's mind blowing. That's an, it, it, a, it, that's it, a different it, dimension it, of it's a different dimension of happiness, I guess, for you. Yeah, bro, it is. It's un, un, it's inexpressible, bro. It's that happy. It's that amazing. Mashallah, brother. I'm seeing comments flooding on the right side of mine while I was listening to you. Mashallah. Can we take some comments, bro? Can I have of information? Course, I would love comment? that. I would love that, bro. Okay. So you know, as a content creator, we love comments, right? Yeah, of course. I mean, some of the brothers and sisters who are watching at this moment, um, I'm a native tongue Bangla, I'm Bangladeshi, but for brother Daud and me, you know, covering things together, I chose to prefer to talk in English because that would balance things out, you know. So yeah. let's try to keep things simple and mashallah lovely for the remaining time that we have. Uh, one comment came along uh, from brother Sanjim Hussain. He said, Daud, brother, whenever I watch your videos, they gave me a feelings of satisfaction and remind me of Deen. May Allah bless both of you. Mashallah, brother, say something about Sanjim, brother. San Sanjim Hussain. Bro, uh, I even made a video like yesterday showing my emotions for my followers and for all the like my muslim brothers and sisters wallahi bro wallahi i swear by allah the love 
that you brother show me brother Sanjim Hussein the way you guys treat me it makes my heart melt I want to meet you guys and hug you guys like really tight I'm not even joking this is literally maybe, maybe when the COVID situation is mashallah yes. alhamdulillah one yes. day is covered up brother visit. Daud would be visiting Bangladesh one day and mashallah would be hosting oh, a little bro. meet up session it's possible let me say see the so amount of people who love you for your content brother from a different I country but I want to visit Bangladesh so badly, bro. And and uh, the the amount for the, of for love the viewers, that I get. For the, for the, for the viewers, let's see. I already dekh this in, brother. Daud bhai, I'm going to keep on even bhalo vashe. So, jay, jay khan thikhe patasin ne kano video type to kindly share for them. Mane, share the love throughout the world. I mean, let people know we are here yeah. at this very moment. 5,000 plus people are watching us. Daud. Oh, mashallah, mashallah. That's <laughs> mind-blowing, bro. Oh, one, so one, one, I one question that. just one question just slipped by. Let me find and let me um, let's say come up with another question for you. But this time, let's hear it out from Afifa Rahman. She said, "I just cannot even believe this. Both of you are my favorite. I have never thought that these two favorite person would <laughs> ever be together." <laughs> Okay, you, uh, Sister Afifa Rahman, I want you to thank Brother uh, Tanvir for this. You know why? Because when I when I first saw his video where he deleted all of his videos, I was so shocked. I was like, Subhanallah, how how can someone leave all of his videos for like? It's such a hard struggle, okay? And then I commented on his fa uh, YouTube video saying, "What can anyone translate this?" And then some brothers translated, okay? If you guys don't know, no, Brother Tanvir is. Brother Tanvir is way ahead of me on YouTube. He has almost no. 500,000 subscribers <laughs> and he gets like above 130,000 views per video, mashallah. And I was thinking like if this brother could uh, DM me to collaborate, I would I would be so happy. And wallahi, after a week, <laughs> after a week, this brother emailed me saying that he wants to collaborate and my mind was blown away, subhanallah. I was so happy. That's how it happened. So, so he gets all that. I mean, I mean um, it, it is a great, great opportunity for me to have this conversation with you and mashallah, sharing these thoughts and ideas with our own audiences. Mashallah, thank you, Brother sister. Tanvir Afifara. is too nice. Brother Tanvir is too nice. I'm letting you guys know. Brother Tanvir is way too nice. He's way too nice. <laughs> um, just, just we're rounding up around the 22 minutes of the live. Brother Daud, the next question is coming up for you is. Have you okay. faced any sort of hate comment that made you really, really upset? And how did you fight over uh, from there? I mean, this is, this is a very honest. common question, I guess. But I want to know how did you fight over it? You know, I mean, as content creators, we receive so many hates. Although the intention inside our heart is just like, say, 100% positive. But still, there are a few people commenting in such a harsh way, even using slangs and uh, cuss words in between the comments. Does it does it hurt to, you? And how do you come up, honest, come up with that? To be honest with you, bro, there are two types of comments. One of them doesn't really hurt me. I ignore it as much as possible, alhamdulillah. But the second one, like, it really hurts. I'll tell you why. The first type of comment is the abusive language or, like, the people that say, uh, I alhamdulillah, I get very, very few. Like, I can't even find them in my comments, the abusive language. Subhanallah, it's mind, okay. it's mind blowing. But there are some people on Instagram I would say that just like one or two, one or two people. Okay, what they do is that when I make a video, right? I I state it with facts and evidences from the Quran and Hadith, right? And um, I don't when I when I talk about Islam, I never bring my point of view because nobody should say according to me, Islam's Islam in Islam is like this. We can only follow the true, authentic Hadith and the uh, Quran, right? So yes. when I make a video about these. Uh, there are some group of people that get really annoyed and they start to accuse me and try to defame me. You get me? They try to like manipulate my my words. I was mm -hmm. so shocked when I saw this. I used to hear about famous people getting uh, accused and manipulated. I just want to tell brothers and sisters, if you see a accu ac accusation or a some kind of defaming post regarding one of your Muslim brothers, no matter what kind of character he is, if he posts, if he tries to uh, promote peace, love, and respect, 
do not go against him. I'm not talking about me. I'm talking in general. Probably this happens a lot. Even Sheikh Mufti Menk, he gets a lot yes. of hate. Okay. Subhanallah. So if you see someone accusing someone or trying to defame someone, it's much better to just ignore it and not get become a fitna uh, to yes. cause fight among uh, Muslims, right? So I just wanted to say that that is the that is the hardest one. That is the hardest one when people like accuse you and stuff. Even though I never say anything out of my own. I whenever I speak about Islam, I bring it from Quran or the Sunnah. Mashallah, brother, so many nice words from a lovely and a beautiful person. Uh, I wish bro, I could you're speak just like too that. nice, bro. brother. Tamir, I, you're too nice. I swear you're too nice, mashallah. May Allah reward you, brother. I wish I could speak like that, and brother Dao being a very nice person. Um, but we haven't got to the savage level yet. Some of our audiences are pushing us to do something, um, you know, collaborate, uh, make a collaboration between us. I mean, um, yeah, it's gonna be possible if Brother Dawood wants to. I mean, I'm really not the person to have a collaboration with, but if Brother Dawood allows to have uh, such a amazing collaboration, then if it, it will be possible. Of course, of course. When we Let's, when we talked uh, when we talked previously, we talked about we have to make a video together, and we said we're gonna do a live video to show uh, to talk to our fans, and we're gonna the tell them that people, people are oozing out with comments. I mean, Jala Jekhan take a brothers. Please share with them. Please share with them. Let people know. I'm a shabai ke jana hai jamne shita hoti ek shita asi, and we will be having a collaboration together. Inshallah, if everything is fine. May Allah bless us to create something. You know, I mean, we are, we are, yeah. we are emphasizing a lot about it because we're just not going to come up with our own ideas. Let's say we're going to try to have a, a special one. We just want to keep things secret for now because we're going to keep things yeah. smooth. But Brother Daud and I, we will be, inshallah, coming up with the collaboration. So you can have yeah, this, our this words on it. Sneak peek. This live was a sneak peek for the promotion of the video that we're going to make, inshallah. So we're trying our best. It might take some time, but we're trying our best to make a video that would like, you know, it would hit it really hard. It would hit hit people really hard in the feeling, right? <laughs> so I, mean, uh, I, wa I also yeah, wanted to address one, one, one thing. Sure, 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 sure. Brother, though, go on. I'm no, no, sorry for interrupting you in between your conversation. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Bro, stop, stop, bro. You're too nice. You, you're embarrassing me. I swear, you're too nice, man. So what we, this, what is, this is like, this is like, I'm just going to clear it out. This is like my show. Maybe probably I'm hosting this at this very few moment, but you are the special guest. Bro, I, the amount of love and respect I'm getting from you. I don't know. I don't know what. I can't contain it, bro. I can't contain it. It's too heavy. I wish you could see the amount of flood. You know, it's draining down like a waterfall of comments here. <laughs> bro, it, it's it's all because the love that you show your fans, bro. I swear. Subhanallah. The love that I have for Bangla people is huge. I realized this after like I uh, like I got a few followers from Bangladesh, right? Yeah. Bro, the 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 the, um, the love that Bangla people have, Bengali people have, the love, subhanAllah, and the language, the beauty of the language. I only know uh, one word with all okay. due respect. Uh Ame Tumake Balubashi. Oh so, <laughs> so let's give brother Dao some love in the comments with this. I mean such an amazing way he showed the love and expression with our own native tongue using Bangla. Alhamdulillah, I will just to say, Amyo Tomake Palovashi, but I am a native tongue. But the Daud, Amyo Apnake Palovashi, Allah Juno, and we love you for the sake of Allah, brother. Yeah, yeah. Every fan, I, I love a single individual who has joined us in the live session, loves you so much, bro. I love you more, bro. I love you more for the sake of Allah. May Allah reward you immensely for this. I also, okay, okay. I, before before we begin, let me let me just state one more thing, brothers and sisters. Alhamdulillah for this opportunity to come live and let you guys know. I want to just say one thing, brothers and sisters. If you see a brother or a sister trying to promote Islam in any way in a da'wah, if you see a mistake in her or or him in the content that they make. Try to correct them like privately. Yeah. Try not to hurt their feelings, right? Also, if you see any post against them from people who accuse, who accuse people who give da'wah, who try to give da'wah, right? Usually people yeah. who accuse and try to defend people, they literally don't do anything.
for the promotion or the da'wah of Islam, okay? They actually accuse and defame those people who are trying hard to give da'wah and promote Islam. And what, what happens is that those people, they become mis discouraged and yes. their da'wah stops. So what you guys should do is that you should support them. However, if they have a mistake, you should uh, DM them, private message them. And of course, comment down for the people to know that if there's a misinformation in that video so that no one is misguided, inshallah. Okay, put that comment, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just had to put this out. I, I, mean, I mean, he's a very lucky guy, Ishaq Rahman, because we are taking his comments at this very moment. I'm sorry, guys. Lots of comments are coming. I'm just trying as much as I can to put up the comments and let Brother Daoud read it out for you. I mean, this time Brother Daoud should go. I'm sorry, I had been interrupting him for a while, but this comment should go. I feel so special, bro. I can't, I, I honestly can't express how happy I am to be here talking to you guys. It's so lovely, you Brother Daoud. Wouldn't you agree with this? I mean, these these people from Bangladesh love you so much. I mean, they're expressing their oh. love toward the comments. I wish they could speak to you in person. I mean, Allahi, hours would go away without you noticing it. You guys, brothers and sisters, everyone that's watching this, everyone that's commenting, sharing, and liking, you are you you cannot go unnoticed. We love you. We make dua for you. May Allah accept all of your good deeds, forgive all of your shortcomings, and may Allah uh, save you from the punishment and grant you the reward of. Jannatul Firdaus, inshallah. We we notice all of you guys. You guys will not go unnoticed, unlike <laughs> unlike famous YouTubers, you know, who don't care about their fans stuff. Okay, I'm, that was a joke. Hello, brother, but we I do not see the happiness within your face, brother. I mean, I am I'm not gonna deserve you. I, I mean, each and every individual watching us, at least five thousand plus people watching us at this very moment, and people who are gonna be watching this video afterwards, it could be recorded session live on my Facebook page as well. They can visit it out, and also I have put in the links. Our brother Dao's YouTube channel and official Facebook page in the description. You can also feel free to check his out, check his contents, uh, subscribe to his channel, like and follow his page. And brother Daud, um, I would like to go back to the comment made by Ishraq Rahman saying, "Daud, bro, I loved your nasheed, Allahu, Allahu." And the next line is about, "Can you sing it again, please?" Maybe, maybe a few I lines, was, bro. bro. I was, I was thinking if, if someone is going to ask about it or not. <laughs> <laughs> My you throat is dry. Bangladeshi people are so, so much into your content and they love your content so much. They don't miss a single one of it. I can guarantee. Your bro, brothers if I, if I, and your sisters from Bangladesh, they're never going to miss one content. From now on, especially. Bro, if, honestly, bro, if I, if I get the chance to visit Bangladesh, which inshallah I will definitely get, I would definitely visit inshallah. I'll meet you and inshallah, if it's possible, we're going to do like a meet and greet inshallah if possible. Okay, anyway, inshallah. I'm going to sing. Before I sing, I want to let you guys know my throat is very dry right now, but these I'll try excuses. my best to make it. Yeah, these are excuses. Brother Daud is making excuses now. Be savage, bro. No, I will Let's think. I will it. think. I will think. <clears throat> uh, should I just sing the Bangla part or all of it? Feel free to sing any part where you feel yourself comfortable with. I mean, we are okay, not going to pressure if you are singing the Bangla part only. It's just gonna, it's gonna get really boring. It's gonna get really boring. So I'm just gonna uh, jump straight to the Bangla part, okay? Shristi korichu shundor priti bi manush posho paki shagoro no di. I I tried my best, but like. I would throw it as dry, bro, so I really can't hit the bro, rhythm, you, hit the you, note. You give it, you taking an attempt just to sing that part, especially, you know, melts <laughs> our heart. In you know, when I, when I sang that, bro, you know, when I sang that, I said Kori Ko instead of Kori Cho, and everyone was, bro, nobody showed from Bangladesh, nobody showed hate. They were all like, oh, yeah, Allah, only love, pure love, even though I said that wrong. But then I was like, I have to, I have to fix it. Man. I have to fix it. Bro, you you took an attempt to make things possible. I mean, you took an attempt to at least sing a part of it, and especially the Bangla part of it. Yeah, really melts our heart. I mean, everybody, um, please show some love for Brother Daud in the comments. I wish I could bring each and every person who is commenting right now and bring him live in this in this portion. I mean, the channel and the full screen would fill up, and even then. I couldn't accommodate all of you. I mean, if it was possible, I could have done it. Brother Daud, I mean, we are have crossed 34 minutes 
Mark on the live, but still is ongoing. Brothers and sisters are joining in a massive number. Let's take another comment for the time being. Uh, oh my God! So, oh, you're you're lagging, bro. You're stopped. Your uh, your video stopped. Sorry, your video stopped. I don't know if it's from the internet. Bro, your video stopped. <laughs> ya Allah. <clears throat> the live is still, uh, ca the countdown is still going up, but your video stopped. Did, did your internet connection go off or something, bro? <sighs> oh, I don't know if I'm still on the live or not. What? I'm still on the live? <laughs> yeah, Allah. Wait, am I still on the live? Well, I'm going to go offline, guys. I'm going to go offline, guys, because uh, Brother Tanvir isn't here. <clears throat> I don't know. I think he lost connection or something. But if he comes back, inshallah, I'll go back. Uh, I'll come back live with, uh, with him, inshallah. I really wanted to say uh, that one a secret relation of mine with uh, Bangladesh. But I think his connection got interrupted or something. So I'm just going to wait for him to come back. When he comes back, inshallah, I will let you guys know about that secret relation. It's not a relationship. I'm saying secret relation, somehow related to Bangladesh. Okay. Inshallah, if he comes live again, if he invites me, I'll let you guys know. I can't really read the comments because I'm on the website. Oh, he came back. Okay. <laughs> Allah, bro. Thanks for coming <laughs> up the, these few minutes. I'm just going to okay. be straight forward and thank okay. Allah for... Oh Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. I thought it was over, bro. <laughs> I was thinking maybe how can I reach you out? This electricity shortage, load shedding problem is all over Bangladesh, you know? I mean... Yeah, I get you. I get you. <laughs> okay. I, 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 I thought I wasn't... Happy. I thought so I wasn't really on the live. So I was just, you know, going. <laughs> Brother, you, 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 you are the host now. Okay, you are the host. <laughs> Take things from here. I mean, I'm so okay. So uh, you were you were gonna say something, right? Yeah, I was about to let's say move on to the next phase of this whole conversation. But this electricity guy didn't like us, I guess. So he took. It, some hap it sometimes <laughs> happens here as well. It sometimes happens here as well. But I thought I lost this. I mean, I lost this session. I need to relaunch this whole session oh, again. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Like, how did the shortage, shortage, I mean, electricity shortage, like, ended so quick. Wait, is it called shortage? It's called something else, but I just said shortage. I mean, so. <laughs> it's, it's uh, Alhamdulillah. I'm, I'm, I would like to ask everyone who just, you know, just passed by between the few minutes that we were, I wasn't even here. I would like to thank Brother Daud for taking things from there. Wallahi, you... <laughs> You are a masterpiece, bro. You are a masterpiece. I didn't even know I was live, bro. I was going through I was going through your WhatsApp and then I was going through Facebook. When I went to Facebook, I realized I was still live. Then I started talking. <laughs> Mashallah, bro. I mean, I mean, my intention was good. I think your intention was good. Alhamdulillah, Allah allowed us yeah, to continue you. from that particular point. Um yeah. I wouldn't with without wasting any more time, I guess the live is still ongoing. Let me um yeah. let me get back to you once more. So, people are asking to sing 
confirmed jan nothing <laughs> <laughs> i mean this, this, this i know this song itself is a huge hit in the muslim community yeah, yeah. people who know this song i mean i wish i really yeah, yeah, knew yeah. the whole lyrics and everything but, but i will try to go with mr brother daud this uh, another time for the time being let uh, let's take another comment yeah Oh it's, before it's, before we ahead I just want to say something real quick regarding that song bro it's very really, very important for the brothers and sisters who don't know like I think saying confirm jannati hai isn't really right because only Allah knows who who's who's really going to jannah and who's not going to right of course we believe as muslims all of all the muslims who have tawhid in their heart like who worship Allah alone and uh, who call upon Allah alone will go to jannah in, in like sure at that. some point right but like yes. it's still it's still not really right to say confirm jannati with like i mean I, out of our expectations a lot of people I'm not think the I, music is i'm a muslim i'm going jannah anyway that savage attitude needs to be controlled bro because yeah, yeah, nobody true. nobody will be going to jannah without allah's mercy exactly now i'm not going against the song or anything guys i'm just saying in particular right I'm just giving information. I'm not saying anything bad about the song. That song bro, I'm saying. Bro, bro you won't believe. You won't believe. I can't even scroll my mouse at this moment. It has just stuck because the amount of comments are coming just for you, brother Daud. And I can see yeah, all Allah. the comments are for Mr. Daud and Daud only. Nobody remembers me anymore, bro. You have taken <laughs> over my channel. You have taken over a page. Oh, you are literally bro, butchering bro. everything. I'm sorry. Bro, I, I'm honestly, sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I just brought Brother Daud, and he is simply mentally hacking my channel. He's so yeah, powerful. Allah. Allahi, bro, he's so powerful. His presence I is can... shaking. The ground is shaking at this moment. <laughs> yeah, I am literally. I, bro, I don't even know what to say. I feel so overwhelmed bro, with control, joy and happiness. control yourself bro control yourself i'll just make I, dua I for everyone is... i'll just make dua for everyone ya allah may oh, allah accept wow. all of your needs may allah shower you guys with blessings and your loved ones i mean i, I mean one, one of our sister reached out and said doubt service take love jazakallah khairan sister that's what i've been receiving since the first day uh, uh, bangladeshi brothers and sisters came to my facebook <laughs> Just and love, people, love, and love, love, and love. I'm just gonna take. I'm gonna take a moment to just, just to spread the love and show the love. I'm just gonna show some comments, random ones. Brother Sabi said, "Assalamu alaikum, wa alaikum assalam, brother." It's it's it's, it's a pleasure to have viewers like you in the comments. You know, making things so much beautiful at this moment. Um, you know, we as comment. content yeah. creators, we as content creators, we are literally nothing without you guys. We want to appreciate. and show our love and respect for all of you for showing this much support to us may allah we can only repay you by making dua for you may allah reward you Inshallah. all for showing this much love and support for us I mean, brother, brothers and sisters connecting from all over the world just to see and hear us talk but we would really appreciate we would really really appreciate if you make duas for us i mean make dua mm. for us that we that we can actually come up with good contents in the future to make Amen. sure that we're spreading the dawa we should make sure we are spreading islam in its best we are spreading values we are spreading meaningful things towards you guys i mean that's yeah. our goal as content creators i mean goal. once once upon a time i remember um i wasn't even a content creator but i was thinking about hey 100k subscribers seems really you know i mean a big number i mean 100k people following you for your contents and everything people in the streets going hey is that brother daud oh my god <laughs> Look at him. Can he give me an autograph? Can he give me an autograph? But then when I actually went to that point, wallahi, when I was in the 99k position, brother, I'm going to be very very transparent about it. I received a strike on the 99k. I mean, can you imagine yourself having a strike at that particular number of subscribers? Why? 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 um i created a content back then i mean those was funny yeah. videos and everything i created a content um giving a voice over of having an original audio in the background and acting upon it oh sorry but the daud will be joining us in a few minutes so hold on uh let me just clarify this out 
while creating the content, I received a strike. And from that strike, things got to a bad move. I couldn't even um, recover from it. So let me connect with the DAO there. All right, five, four, three, two, one. So we have brother Dow joining us again. The internet stopped for some reasons. Like your your uh, your fat display stopped, and then I tried to click chat, and then it went away. Yes, we can hear you, bro. Nice excuse. No, nice seriously, excuse seriously, to leave me empty with this many <laughs> brothers and sisters. They're asking questions. Hey, how how is it going on? What is going on? I'm what so sorry. On? You you kidding? You wrote description <laughs> that. Live with Brothers Dow Savage, and you are single handedly butchering the show. And people were questioning <laughs> me for a few seconds, bro. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, bro. All right. Um, yeah, well, one brother. One brother was like um, having a question, Mr. Oh, um, Nation with Bangladesh. Yeah, I've been watching you guys for yeah. so long. I'm going to tell you guys now what I was talking about. Uh, okay, it may not be that big, but I, for me, it's like a huge thing. Bro, have you heard of uh, the sister called Shahtaj Munira Hashim? Mm, sounds familiar, by the way. Can you go on uh, with the story? I mean, probably will be able to relate. She is like a uh, huge model in Bangladesh. And mm -hmm. uh, uh, if you guys didn't know, back back in the days when I was like really young, me and her, we used to play uh, play a game where we used to chat together. We used to like talk every day. She was like, really close to me, sister Shatad was really close to me, we were really like best friends, subhanAllah. Then she became super famous and I was so proud of her. But you, are you talking about Shahtaj? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, does she like the Shishimaru thing, you know? Yeah, 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 That that's her, that's her. Oh, okay, I can viewers yeah. and audiences so, can already recognize her. <laughs> so, uh, like we used to talk a lot. So I'm just saying like, that's how, I got close to Bangladesh. She was really, really nice, subhanAllah. She was very nice, mashallah. Mashallah, mashallah. I mean, that's how Brother Dawood started to recognize Bangladesh as a country. And now, alhamdulillah, he has so many fans, so many people following him, so many people encouraging him to make the next content possible. I mean, brothers and sisters who are joining us from around the world, from Brother Dawood's side and from my side, please feel free to share the video. Put your lovely comments for us. We are really eagerly waiting for, uh, waiting to hear you. What you want to say to us, and what are your thoughts about it, Brother Dawood? I mean, Brother Dawood is equally as excited about it as well. And people are saying halal rap battle one v one. I mean, <laughs> is it even possible, bro? I'm, I'm so bad at English. I can't wait, 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 match wait, up to him, bro. <laughs> I would. Oh, I'm, brother, I would, brother. Let's yeah, let's yeah. let's do like let's do like a recitation. No, 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 so bad. Sura Fatih. So Sura Fatih. No, 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 so bad. No. <laughs> okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. If you feel like you want to do it as well, you do it as well, okay? Wallahi, yeah, I'm just going to lose. It, no, it's, know, it's not about who recites better, bro. It's just about gaining rewards. You know, so many people are watching if they hear, like, good word from you, inshallah. <clears throat> Ooh, I'm shivering right now. I'm just going to make on. sure I make... I'm, I'm not sure I'm going to make a mistake while we do this oh, sort of stuff, good. but... Wallahi, well, we'll be trying to keep things as, um, let's say, simple as possible. Um, brother Harix, Rashid, you are sort of pushing us to do it. I'm not sure how you're going to do it, but let's try. Let's try to make things good. So right. this is at 48.46 or 47 seconds. So I'm, yeah. I'm just going to come. I'm, uh, if you guys can comment, like, at this part, he's going to recite. It would be really great. Okay. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna try my best to not make any touch with mistakes, inshallah, but forgive me if I do. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. Bismillahi r-Rahmanir r-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Ar-Rahmanir r-Rahim. Maliki yawmiddin. Iyaka na'budu wa iyaka nasta'een. اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين. Okay. So pleasing, so pleasing. I really wish I could recite like you, but 
I mean, Subhanallah, may Allah reward us all, reward us all who join at this very moment and um, heard Brother Dawood reciting Surah Fatiha at its, I guess, at its best possible, at best as you could do it. And mashallah, I think may Allah reward you for everything that you have Thank done. Thank you, Allah, brother. Really special. I the reciting of Surah Fatiha. I mean, every brothers and sister who has joined at this very moment commenting and spamming masha Allah throughout the way bro I mean <laughs> yeah right. Allah we should be bro. hosting these live sessions more now and then and let people let people join in the recitation of Quran and having an international collaboration like this bro I mean I'm already feeling so much blessed and may Allah may Allah may Allah accept this bro, I mean, bro I've said it before I want to say it again I want to say it again Bang like this one thing I love so much and appreciate so much about people of for brothers and sisters from Bangladesh is that you won't find a single Bangladeshi brother arguing, making fun of someone or hating on someone. Literally the whole internet search out throughout the internet. You won't find a single Bangladeshi as, as, as much as I have. And even in my content, the love that I receive from Bangladeshi people, the, the, the like most of my followers are from Bangladesh, Pakistan, like both of them. They usually go up and down, okay? It, the race is really huge. But Bangladesh will win, bro. Bangladesh will win. <laughs> <laughs> Wallahi, I love all of you guys. Like all of you guys are special to me, no matter where you guys are from. But since like most of the viewers right now are Bangladeshi, I want to put it, put this put this message out here it has been staying in my heart for such a long time and i feel so special to be the first ever um first ever uh, person to be joining you on live brother inshallah you'll make it a brother, series right I'm, 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 gonna be, I'm gonna be very honest and transparent to my audience who are watching at this moment and also the audiences from the, the <clears throat> brother the, the, the whole savages page it is getting uh, troublesome for me too, even without a drink and a sip of water. Um, continue having the conversation at the same time. Each and every person who has joined the live today, please feel free to share the live, spread the love, and spread the peace among all the living communities out there for the Muslims and non Muslims to let people know that Brother Dawood Savage is us, with us actually, here live talking to us, and you can see him. Just beside us, I, I, I can touch him. I can't touch him. I'm trying. Oh, but, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I wish I could. I could. We wish we could have a hug together yeah. and show you the Inshallah. love that I'm in the, in the level of respect that we have for him, bro. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. I will visit Bangladesh, Pakistan, and India soon. Inshallah. One hundred percent. Definitely Bangladesh and Pakistan. Definitely. Inshallah. I mean, everyone. Everyone. Everyone would love to have a visit. Uh, from you in Bangladesh and everybody I guess after he, seeing you saying this in live is having the expectation at this level best so don't disheart don't disappoint us brother. I won't I won't, waiting, bro. Definitely. Uh, you live in Dhaka right brother you live in Dhaka I live in Dhaka Bangladesh yeah the capital city is in the middle yeah. although okay, our map is very small but there's a, like a small there's another Definitely. small part of it in between this is where I live. Mashallah, mashallah. And brother, I would. Oh, by the way, um, just let me let me remind you of the most delicious foods that are available at Dhaka, especially some of the biryanis. I mean, the kachi <laughs> biryani with Bangladesh. You must taste it, bro. I'll personally give you the treat. Yeah. Bro, inshallah, I'll, personally, I'll personally give you the treat. Like, oh, oh, Jazakallah khairan from the heart, brother. <laughs> All right, bro. I am gonna take another comment. Um, people okay. want us to react on the video together on Confirm Jannati. I'm not sure if that's going to be possible, but we will try. <laughs> and Wallahi, Wallahi, a brother commented. I'm, I'm going to explain, uh, I'll translate this in English a bit more later, but he said, That shall. I'm just, <laughs> I mean, mention this. I guess he mentioned his friends, uh, some, of, some of his close friends, maybe. That's why he's being really close and personal with the comment that. Since he mentioned, he was able to see this live session. So, thank oh, you, Fayaz, brother. Allah, uh, brother. Thank you so much. May Allah thank you, you, Fayaz, brother. May Allah, you are you and your friend. But maybe work on the language a little bit so we can introduce this to our <laughs> brother. David. Uh, even the brothers and sisters, 
even the brothers and sisters we don't know that are liking commenting sharing our videos and watching them may allah reward you we may not see it but literally we you are always in our duas thank you so much may allah reward you for supporting us in this positive cause that we're doing and may allah keep our intentions purely to satisfy allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to serve his cause i mean mashallah brother definitely your words are like a bomb at me <laughs> when people are expecting me to say something good you bro, just outsmart you, me on you every just call king of holy savage king of holy savage brother you're the bro, real savage i'm the thinking of adding i'm i'm thinking of adding a savage word in after my name so that i could get some of those savage brothers fans and followers maybe you already have you <laughs> You already have them, bro. You already have them. Brothers and sisters, if you're watching from my page, I request you to visit Brother King Opoli's page, like his page, share his videos. But most importantly, visit his YouTube because we get paid through YouTube. <laughs> Watch his videos. If there are any uh, ads, okay? Music in the ads, mute the ads. Uh, if there's like something not really halal in the ad, like watch, uh, close your eyes. But if it's possible, keep the ad playing, okay? And then skip it. Watch our videos. Jazakallah khairan. And subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to YouTube, inshallah. Don't forget to support these YouTubers who are trying their best to promote Islam towards the positive, <coughs> towards using positive actions and behaviors yeah. and scripts. I mean, although we know we may end up making mistakes, since we are all humans, and the only perfect human being who was created by Allah is our Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. We are really sorry that we couldn't mention his name at the earlier stage of the live session, but we really appreciate each and every individual joining us on the live. Please don't actually follow our teachings, rather follow the teachings of Quran and authentic hadith, and also the teachings of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam from his lifestyle and how he spent his days and how what actions did he take when he were in he was in circumstances. Uh, in few circumstances which exactly. actually relate with our regular life and exactly. the most important thing bro religion has not i mean the religious values and the teachings have not changed in the last 1400 1400 years i guess yeah. uh, 1400 years from now so yeah. people are moderating and making changes in the religion itself don't follow those follow, follow. the authentic hadith and teachings yes. of quran if prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam didn't do something Don't do it. If he did it, do it. Follow it with confidence. You know, I mean, don't have your yeah. doubts when you're following it. Exactly. That's where Shaitan plays the game. Exactly. Shaitan. <laughs> 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 Mashallah, bro. That video was amazing. Mashallah. Beautiful. I tried. <laughs> I tried. I wish I could really have the level of fluency that you have on your videos. I wish I could do that. I mean, I could that way actually make um, contents a bit more in the international level. But I'm working on it. Let's see where it goes in the coming days. Uh, Mashallah, we'll try to have the collaboration in, 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 let's say, in English, to make sure that both the audiences of every possible um, corner understands the contents and also the values and the morals of it. And also, brother Daud, I guess we are almost covering 58 minutes. And cutting down the few minutes of the electricity from my side of things, I'm really sorry, and I really would like to apologize for being absent where <laughs> where you actually needed me. But thanks for bro. carrying it up on on those few minutes, bro. Bro, you're too, you're, you're too nice, bro. Stop it, man. Stop it. You look like Bangladesh, <laughs> nice, bro. Yeah, I'm representing the Bangladeshis at this moment, but Allah, this country, Mashallah. these people, they are really, really lovely from the heart. Mashallah, Mashallah. May Allah reward you all, brother. May Allah reward you all. This is I, I love I, and positivity. I wish I could really ask you a few more questions that I had prepared, but Wallahi, we don't have much time, I guess, based on the fact that you are busy and what I have. No, to to bro, bro. Trust me, you can ask anything you want. You can ask oh. anything you want. Oh. You can. Ask How about instead of me asking you a question, let's say a question from the brothers and sisters in the comments. Okay. I guess okay. that way we could we bro, could actually. Bro, I have I have all the time you need. I have all the time you need. Uh, like only time I will leave is when there's prayer call, call to prayer. That's all. All right. Well, we, to, we have to keep in mind that the prayer is also there. That's why I plan to host this whole show, maintaining a balance of time between Brother Daud and myself, and also we have different time zones there and there. Since it was six, um, I guess uh, we, where we started. I guess six uh, six thirty. Yeah, and here it's like um, it was like nine thirty. So we are done with the prayers up to Asia, and we could have a nice summer conversation. Um, 
a comment uh, I actually uh, pinned over here. If you would take the um, honor to read it out for us. Okay. Brother Hasib Sarkar says, may Allah reward you, brother. Work for Muslim, best of luck. Work for Muslim, best of luck. Work for Muslim. Best of luck, work for Muslim. Best of luck, work for Muslim. Best of luck, work for Muslim. Best of luck. MashaAllah, MashaAllah, MashaAllah. I mean, <laughs> MashaAllah, all the way, bro. MashaAllah, power Masha square Allah, to the, the six. The enthusiasm in that is, MashaAllah, amazing. I mean, I mean, I mean, he actually put some time writing it down or maybe wrote the first line and then wrote best and then copied and pasted the whole thing. I know, <laughs> but brother, although you did it, Really, really, thanks for participating. Um, oh, one unimportant question from a brother. Uh, his name is in Bangla, so I'm just going to read it out. Hassaner Ammu. When he's a mother of a son, Mashallah. she said, Are you married? Daud, bro. Jazakallah for asking that question, sister. Jazakallah for watching our live. And I'm going to be straightforward. I'm going to tell you what really is happening. I'm not going to hide anything just because uh, like people know me. So <clears throat> there is this uh, girl that I like because she transformed me. Like she, of course, Allah is the one who guides, but she's one of the reasons who uh, made me more religious. She, uh, she told me to stop listening to music and everything. But subhanAllah, we're keeping it halal. We don't talk. We used to talk before. And when we really got to know each other, subhanAllah, all halal talk. We, when we really got to know each other, alhamdulillah, that's when we realized that uh, we are really, we connect together, alhamdulillah. So I decided to tell my mom about her. And I, like literally all of my family knows about her. And some, some, some of her uh, parts of her family knows about her, uh, knows about me as well. However, <clears throat> I'm waiting to go back to Dubai, inshallah, to talk to my dad to take it further, to take this uh, into marriage, inshallah. However, we're not talking. The way we talk is that she messages my sister and then my message, uh, my sister, sorry, forwards that message to me. And then I message my sister and then she forwards that message to her. So we're trying to keep it as halal as possible. Uh, I just wanted to let you guys know, I don't want to hide anything. So that's how it is, inshallah. Brother, I am really, I really appreciate what you have explained and the way that you are taking the steps that you have been taking to make things love. I mean, every brother and sister watching this video, any sort of relationship before a halal marriage is haram. And brother, yeah. thou and me both support this. And mashallah, the steps that you are taking to your parents and through your sister and trying the minimal level of communication and possibly, I mean, no communication at all. Wallahi. Um, I mean, you are you are taking take, you are making this very easy and possible in the most halal way possible. But we really appreciate and pray for you to make things halal as soon as possible. To keep I mean, things keep, keep keep things very halal at its best. And may may Allah accept this whole relationship that is going on, and may Allah make it, make it easy for you, both of you. May Allah make it easy. I just want to say something real quick. The reason okay. why I want to uh, marry her is she, alhamdulillah, she is, uh, she has everything. Subhanallah, I don't want to say like this and that. She has everything, yani, from uh, whatever you want to get married, she has everything, subhanallah. But the main reason why I want to marry her is because she is religious. Wherever she finds something that doesn't go according to religion, she just abandons it, subhanallah. Even if it goes against her will or desires, subhanallah. Yes. This made me really really inclined towards her and subhanallah there's a hadith where it says i don't want to misquote the hadith but it's regarding marriage and uh, uh choosing a wife right people yes. choose wife for certain things like for money for their name or for their looks and some for their iman then rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said choose the one uh, choose her for her iman because marriage is really important, brothers and sisters. Whether you're looking for a boy to marry or a girl to marry, make sure that person has iman and he has beneficial knowledge of Islam, okay? The reason why I'm telling you is this, because he will be the father or the mother of your children. And you want to make sure that the father of your or the mother of your children knows, uh, like, at least the basics of Islam and they're religious so that they can teach that and forward it to their children 
and children in return whatever they teach to their children will you will get the reward for it too Mashallah. you get make yeah. sure make sure you uh, uh, like n i mean like focus on this when you're going for like marriage inshallah and, may and allah knows best inshallah Allah Azawajal knows the best, bro. That's what yes. I have been and you have been trying to explain to the whole live video. And Allah, thanks for all the amazing advices and suggestions that you have provided going forward. And brother, we have, I guess, we have a few more minutes to go. And before going, I'm gonna, I mean, we would like to conclude this whole live session. I know it has been an overwhelming experience for both you and me. The whole, such an amazing show. And this was like my first time actually hosting something like this. And uh, I am very, very sorry for the bad language accent that I have been you know, trying to uh, improvise on. But um, sorry for any mistake that I've made throughout the whole video. And yeah. Brother Daud, I would like to ask you the next, I guess, uh, let's finalize the question within with this last question is, um, what are your future plans regarding your YouTube channel? And are you actually thinking about turning this to a career or what are you actually, you know, focusing on in your life at this moment? <laughs> and, and this YouTube and Facebook and this whole um, social media thing that is, you are trying to, let's say, use uh, to provide meaningful messages through Islam and um, let's say improvising on the values and moralities. Where do you see yourself? bringing this in the future. Thank you so much for asking that question, brother. Jazakallahu khairan. Uh, I want to start off by saying, uh, I'm going to tell you guys my intentions. However, Allah plans and Allah is the best of the planners. So <clears throat> I want to tell you guys, my father, he told me once that he always prayed that one of his sons at least would become a alim and preach the message of Islam, the truth of Islam, right? Yes. And in those days, I used to make videos, okay? I used to make videos. And my dad, went, that was the time when I was deciding to go to which university. That's like, I think, six to seven months ago, I was deciding which university I'm going to study in. And my dad was like, what field you're going to study? He was like, I won't stop you from studying any field. However, I wanted to let you know that this is what I want you to study. And back then, I... Uh, even though I really wanted to, but my interest wasn't really that high. But recently, alhamdulillah, recently I've been, ever since COVID happened, subhanAllah, you, like, subhanAllah, a lot of famous people have passed away. Have you noticed that? Not only yes. famous people, not because of COVID, but subhanAllah, like, what, for any reason, a lot of famous people and, like, normal people, they have been passing away. Like life is very temporary, brothers and sisters. Give as much as love you can, as much as peace and good deeds that you can earn, right? Do yes. that and don't hurt anyone. Don't do something that you would end up having to apologize to another person. Okay, I'm going off topic. So no, no, no. Feel free to explain do, in any possible way and comfortable you are with. So do as much as good that you can to make people happy, whether no matter where they're from, no matter what religion they follow. No matter what, like, it doesn't matter. Just be nice and kind to people. So that's when I realized that I have to use this dunya to earn in the dunya as well and earn in the akhirah as well. Right now, I'm trying my best to do that with my videos. Alhamdulillah, I get, uh, like, good amount of views and people watch me. It makes me happy. Alhamdulillah. However, I have the intentions and I have prayed for it. And Allah knows best that I want to study Islam more, whether I become a alim or not, whether I pursue the uh, career of becoming an Islamic speaker or not. I still want to study our religion of Islam and gain more knowledge. You get me? Gain more knowledge. This is what I want, inshallah. And if Allah sees me fitting for that, uh, for that, position inshallah i want to become a islamic preacher and islamic speaker inshallah in the future mashallah, i just said that's my intention inshallah mashallah may allah make it easy for you to reach this level of dimension that you are planning on and may exactly. allah make it so easy for you that um, maybe one day uh, we all would be hearing you speaking in public 
and preaching the good <laughs> values and morals from Islam itself and people learning and taking meaningful lessons from you. Mashallah, exactly. brother, we, we all, I mean, each and every people who are watching us at this moment, who will be watching this video in this near future, uh, make dua for Brother Dawood to reach this level of um, th this dream that he, he's planning on. And well, may Allah make it easy for him. May Allah reward you guys. May Allah reward you all for everything that you guys are doing. May Allah reward Brother King of Poli for doing all this, like subhanAllah, promoting Islam, for helping me reach more audience. Inshallah, may Allah reward you for everything, for promoting like positive messages and um, beneficial knowledge, inshallah. May Allah reward us all. May Allah reward the viewers for supporting us in this good cause. Jazakallah khairan, inshallah. I mean, Allah without reward. the viewers, we would have been, we would not, we wouldn't have been nowhere. connecting at the first place. Oh, I mean, nowhere, literally so nowhere. Strong. This is so strong. I mean, every yeah. time when I am about to create a content, it's all because of you guys, the ones that are viewing this. It's all because of you guys. May Allah reward you all, the ones that are watching this. I know you guys can see me, right? Salam alaikum to everyone. <laughs> I mean, each and every individual. I would just, I just like to name some of them before we are concluding this whole live session. Uh, Rifat Hassan, brother Rifat Hassan, Al Muntasir Bhai, Shudipta Hassan Bhai, Al Zubair. And we have Tanvir Hussain, Saim Hassan, Meheri Napu. Then we have, I mean, bro, comments are coming so fast. It's so hard for me to get along with the names. Uh, okay. Um, before leaving, please give a shout out. Okay. Tahmid <laughs> Chaudhary Bhai, a big shout out. I don't know if shout out is about, you know, <laughs> ranging and shouting your name or something, but a big shout out. Um, shout like out maybe brother brother, can, can, you, can you give him a shout out as well? Yeah, shout out to brother Tahmid Chaudhary. Huge oh, shout right. out to brother Tahmid Chaudhary. And also, huge shout out to the people who are joining us at this very moment. And I really don't know how should I be ending this video. I mean, there I are so I many I things. I honestly don't want to end this, subhanAllah, to be honest. I, mean, I honestly don't want to end this. Bro. For, go on for hours and hours, but it's like... I bro, honestly, it's love, honestly. Bro, 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 bro. Let's bro, bro. make this a series, man. Whenever like we have something to talk about, we can come live, inshallah. If, if inshallah, if, if it works out in the future. I'm, I'm planning on something, actually. You know, I mean, I'm planning on something which we can host together, maybe on future, Mashallah. bringing on more people, the discussion, maybe you know, this, this, this maybe. middle part, this middle part, she should be filled in with other guests. If you could actually okay. bring in Mr. Mufti Menk, maybe one day we will. Oh. I don't know. I'm not personally connected to him. Mashallah. If you could Mashallah. manage it, that's also possible. We can bring, bring in brother <laughs> Jishan from Ismail the Jannah. We can bring on brother Muhammad Hijab. We can bring my most uh, favorite person when it comes to Dawa, Muhammad Hablas from Australia. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. Possibilities are endless because we are all connecting virtually and making sure people get the message of Dawa. People get the yeah. message of Islam. People feel the importance. People feel the connection of the Ummah. I mean, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is not with us anymore, but he saw so many visions. And there are so many fitna around us. It's hard to fight all this fitna alone, but you always have to remember, Wallahi, any brothers or sisters that you do are involved in haram or any illegal activities or any contradictory activities, which, you know, contradicts with Islam itself. Those are our brothers and sisters as well. May Allah, we can may deny Allah. Him. We can deny him. We can deny that person or ignore Definitely, that person. Yeah. Still, they are our brothers and sisters. You're, I mean, you're still our brothers and sisters. I mean, I mean, I mean, there are some sisters out there who doesn't wear any hijab. I mean, it's obligatory for women to wear hijab and cover themselves. But still, there are so many women out there not giving a thought about it. But yeah, still, but you know, like brothers and sisters, they're well, still our brothers and sisters, bro. Yeah, I mean, yes, how can we know, ignore them? Most of the sisters, like, they really want to do it. However, like, there are situations. Brothers and sisters, I want to tell you something to the viewers. Uh, if you see a brother or a sister doing some kind of something bad, in a, like, and they're not famous for it, or even if they're famous for it, don't be, don't, please don't be rude to them and don't, like, literally uh, go up to them and tell them, like, this, what you're doing is, like, this and that. Like, try to be gentle, inshallah. 
try to be gentle and if they if they listen to you mashallah uh, may but allah reward you for that. i would just, just add brother sorry for interrupting don't be judgmental Fine. at the first place yeah. because people yeah. make judgments so quickly i was watching a content of brother yeah. daud uh, recently he posted don't judge too quickly on something I mean, maybe some of your brothers and sisters are actually trying to perform some good deeds and hiding it yeah. from the people. But wallahi, when we saw something yeah. suspicious in the first place, what we do is we directly think of a negative aspect out of it. And yes. what happens is and the brothers and sisters get completely shattered while performing this perfect, I mean, deed that we yeah. weren't able to complete. But wallahi, yeah. we make so many judgments too quickly. That's not good. Yes, that is so true. That is so true. And I want to tell you guys something, brothers and sisters. Allah knows best. Maybe she doesn't wear hijab. Maybe he uh, does something that is not good. But maybe he does behind the scenes. Maybe he does really loves, and Allah has accepted that from him. And maybe he's really close to Allah. Of course, you you can advise him. You should advise him, but in a nice way. And when you advise them in a strict way or in a like rude manner, what happens is that they the inclination that they had towards Islam, maybe it will go away. Like even that inclination will go away. Try to be nice. Like uh, make them feel like you're really close to them. Make them feel happy. Make them feel, you know, the best way to give dawah is not to even talk about it because when you talk about it, it's like you're attacking them. The best way to yeah. give dawah is like representing yourself, like how you treat them. I've heard the story where, there were two Muslim workers in America. One was a brother, one was a sister. Sister was a hijabi, okay? Now that mm -hmm. brother was new to the work, uh, but that brother, maybe, she, I think the sister wore hijab or not, I don't know. Uh, however, that brother, he was religious, okay? And the, the amazing fact is that he was nice to her. When he would talk to her, he would look down. And every no, time, he was not, yes. And he would not say anything to her because, you know, people feel when they feel attacked, they start to move away from you, push away from you. Now, what mm -hmm. that brother does is that when it's time for prayer, he prays them on time. The sister doesn't pray. When it's time for uh, yani anything religious, he does them. Okay. Now, what happens is that this sister, he sees his akhlaq, his manners, and the way he prays, she gets this. Subhanallah, feeling in her like, why am I not doing this? Why am I not doing this? And then this feeling is so precious, Subhanallah, bringing up this feeling in other Muslims is so precious that she starts to uh, pray as well. And she becomes religious just because of this brother, like portraying an example in a act, 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 actual manner, like acting, right? Yes. This is this is a way to give message, indirecting, indirect message. And um, a lot of brothers and sisters also DM me saying that. Okay, I'm gonna skip that. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna say that anyway. You say something, brother. You say no, something. No, no. You finish it, bro. You finish it. You, mashallah, you started with a beautiful story. May Allah reward you for it, and also the persons you were relating to through the stories. May Allah reward them for their actions as well. And you know, you finish it, bro. Okay. I just want to finish it off by saying, uh, brothers and sisters, uh, life is very temporary. We never know when is the last day. Allah knows best. I might die tomorrow or tonight. Allah knows best. May yeah. Allah forgive. We should always, we should always make sure that we are nice to people. Nobody is heard from us. If you look at my page, I I usually like, uh, I usually post. Asking for apologies from people. I don't even know. I might have hurt accidentally. Because back in the days, I know I wasn't a good person. So, brothers and sisters, life is not guaranteed to anyone. Everybody's going to die sooner or later. So, what I want to say is gain as much as good deeds that you can to please Allah. And be nice to everyone. Don't hurt anyone, whether they're Muslims or non-Muslims. Don't hurt anyone. If you hurt someone... Only that person on the day of judgment can forgive you. If he doesn't forgive you, he gets your good deeds. And if your good deeds run out, uh, he gives you his bad deeds to you. Stuff Allah. Look, Allah is the most merciful. Whenever we want to do something, we say Bismillah rahman rahim You know the meaning of that? Bismillah rahman rahim In the name of Allah. 
the most gracious, the most merciful. We always have to remember that Allah is most gracious and most merciful. No matter how big your sin is, no matter, except for shirk, meaning yeah. uh, associating partners with Allah in worship or uh, calling upon Allah, is like instead of shirk, besides shirk, no matter what sin that you have done or that you're doing, just the word astaghfirullah and guilt in your heart would ruin, would take away everything because Allah is the most merciful and the most gracious. No matter what sin that you're doing, always remember to say astaghfirullah while you're walking. Allah knows best you might die today. So before you die, make sure that you die as a Muslim believing in one God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So always say astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah. It's not really hard. La ilaha illallah, astaghfirullah, 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 la ilaha illallah. <laughs> always Dikr. say this. Dhikr, yes. Dikr. I would really appreciate each and everyone who is at this very moment with watching us and also people who would be watching us. Please come astaghfirullah once and say it with your mouth as well. MashaAllah. This, this is going to be a very nice practice. <laughs> Everybody, please comment astaghfirullah at least once and say it with your mouth at least once. Oh, That's and by the way, by the way, I want to say this as well. When you hear of a brother or a sister passing away who has died, if you can attend their funeral, a funeral, lazim, you have to attend it. You cannot make any excuse for not attending it, okay? If you can't attend it, make dua for that person because at that person, they really need your dua when they die. Of course, they can't hear anyone. When they die, they can't hear you. But your dua, dua uh, Allah, Allah is the most merciful. Allah will show mercy to them maybe because of your dua. So if uh, if if brothers and sisters, if you hear the, uh, the news of passing away of me, of course, everybody has to pass away. This is the truth that we cannot deny. If you hear the news of me passing away, please make dua for me. Remember me in your dua, duas. And please don't keep any of my videos which include music or any like, bad uh, like uh, like time wasting material inshallah yeah. and may Allah reward you for all of that I just wanted to say that mashallah brother Daud you had been explaining and keeping us you know I mean alive throughout this whole live session and wallahi it would have, wouldn't been possible without you joining us at this very moment and explaining so many beautiful things I mean we're all doing it all doing it for Allah and Rasulullah sallallahu yeah. alayhi wa sallam and for um, on every, everyone to get benefited with the things that we discussed and wallahi please forgive us if we have personally hurt you in any shape way, or way or form or with any of the things that we discussed or anything that we said yeah. may, and, and ended up hurting you uh, we are sorry we really apologize for that i i apologize on behalf of brother daoud as well because I, uh, this show was hosted I, 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 me. I take all the responsibilities and also everything that has happened and brother Daud, I would really love to host these shows again, maybe in possible in the near future as well. And each and every people, I would like to thank all of you, every brother and sister who has joined us today in this live session and made this a meaningful one. Wallahi, I would like to really take this Halal Homie show to the next level next time. But Alhamdulillah, brother Daud, before leaving, um, I would like to personally thank you for everything that you have done today. And everything you say, you explain, everything you put forward, and every moment that you have spent with us. And also, I would like to thank each and every individual who has joined us in this live session. Every man, woman, um, boy, girl, each and every individual, teenagers, adults, everyone. Um, I think we have tried to keep things simple and we have tried to make meaningful conversation. And if you have taken any positive, any positive lessons out of this uh, live session today, Allah, we would be happy. We would be satisfied would be to hear it. Share it with people. Please feel, share it with people. Feel, knowledge, feel. knowledge is the only wealth that grows by sharing. Right? If you share money, of course, you're gonna lose it. But knowledge is the only wealth. When you share it, it becomes even more. Yeah. So, and inshallah. Inshallah, if we if we make another video live in the future, inshallah, I want to talk about my experience. At, I recently visited a funeral. That was the first time ever I visited a funeral and went through the complete process. 
it changed the way I see life, subhanAllah. Inshallah, when we make another live, inshallah, we will talk about it. We'll talk no about matter it. how many buildings that you make all over the world, the only one place that is determined to be yours is your grave. And none of us knows whether we are going to have it tomorrow. So make the best out of the time that you have and the time that you are alive. And may Allah reward all of us for every good deed that we have performed throughout the life. And may Allah forgive all the sins that we have committed throughout our life. And make the realization and the true meanings of Islam as we are alive and having a beautiful day in the coming days. And those brothers and sisters who are involved in haram activities and problems with their own life, I know it, it is so tough to leave everything and ignore everything at the first place. Maybe start slow with a good deed. Maybe start simple. Maybe start short. But believe me, brothers, Allah is watching everyone, your every action. And inshallah, you will be rewarded. Oh, before before we end, I just want to say one thing. Sure. Uh, due to COVID-19, a lot of people have been stuck at home, right? From quarantine and everything. Now, I want to address this issue that a lot of brothers and sisters may be feeling lonely. They don't have friends or they don't have anyone to talk to. Maybe there's something that they cannot talk about it to people and that thing is haunting them on the inside. I want to let you brothers and sisters know that or brothers and sisters who are struggling, who want to increase their Iman and come closer to Islam, but they find it difficult. I want to let you guys know just one principle that has helped me throughout my life. This one principle, remember this. Whenever you want something, whenever you're in trouble, whenever literally for anything and everything, always call upon Allah and Allah will respond, inshallah. Allah will definitely respond. Just keep your faith completely strong in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And once you ask for that help, once you ask for something, keep your trust solely upon Allah. When you put your trust, I mean you forget about all the tension, okay? Like if uh, my car is going towards somewhere, right? And I pray to Allah, of course, I'm going to turn the wheels, but the brake is not working. I'm going to pray to Allah to save me from this, right? Of course, I'm going to keep on hitting the brake to see if it's working or not. But at the same time, once I've asked from Allah, my heart, I will put it at ease. I will put it at ease. No matter what happens after this, Allah, Allah, is, uh, uh, Allah is the one above all. Nothing happens without his permission. Always put your heart at ease when you remember Allah. That's all I wanted Masha to say. MashaAllah, I wish... We could continue this on and on and hear from you all day and all <laughs> night. It, Mashallah, bro. Mashallah. Allah. I mean, Allah. I mean, uh, I, I'm really feeling happy to be able to, you know, bring you here and let the audience of Bangladesh, especially, to know about you and how you actually deal you deal with it with a person in person. I mean, the person that we see in the videos is a completely different person, but when you Meet him in person, in a real life scenario and situation. This is Brother Dawood Savage. A Dark really Allah. humble and a beautiful person with an amazing peace of mind. Wallahi, well, the, throughout the life, throughout the life, throughout the life, sorry, here, <laughs> Brother Tanvir has been so nice, literally so nice. I get so embarrassed if you look at, if you watch the live from the beginning until the end. I'm just laughing from smiling because I don't know how to reply to Brother Tanvir. He has um, said so wonderful I mean, words. You are the, you're the most humble person that I have came across hosting a live because you are the first person. Let's see how Daud's, Brother Daud Savage goes in the coming days when we uh, will be coming up with the next session and the live and the collaboration and everything. Uh, may Allah bless us to perform those things. And apart from that, Really, really, brother, thank you from the heart and love from the people who have joined today from Bangladesh and watching you. Uh, may Allah bless us all to perform good deeds in the coming days. And um, inshallah, we will be hosting these in this, uh, this sort of lives in the future as well. Halal Humi Show. This is the first time I named it out of the blue, but this has become a good thing, I guess. And brothers and sisters appreciating this throughout the comments as well. Um, one special comment came along just before we go. I just would like to address this comment. Yes, yes, yes. 
brother MD Rakibul Islam said, Ami, I, this is in Bangla, by the way, so I'll translate it for you. Ami Dua Prati, HSC candidate, Ashakuri Amar Jono, Kotota Korbin. I guess uh, he wants some duas. Um, brother, uh, let me just give take a few moments to explain what actually happened from Brother Rakibul Islam. Is he is a candidate, uh, you know, special board exam that takes place each and every year that uh, students need to participate on when they are switching from school to high school and like that. There are a few board exams. Uh, for you guys, I guess it's A-level, O-level exams. Yeah, 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 it's A-level. Yeah, so this is like another exam which are especially um, designed for the students who are uh, from Bangla medium. I mean, studying the Bangla language itself. And people who study in the English, they pass on by O-level and A-levels. So he's like a sort of uh, giving away the A-levels or let's say uh, the second higher secondary certificate exam. So he wants some dua. So <laughs> may Allah make it easy for you, brother. I mean, brother Daud will also be making dua for you. May Allah Inshallah. make it easy, brother. May Allah make it easy for you, brother. May Allah accept all of your duas. May Allah shower you with his blessings. May Allah make you successful in this life and in the next one, inshallah. And may Allah make you successful in your studies. And inshallah, you become a very successful man in the future and very honest and true to your work and uh, to your people, inshallah. And may Allah make your family proud of you, inshallah, and your whole, whole nation, inshallah. I mean, I want to say this before we end, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm doing so much. No, okay. I can really feel you. And you also, you also, you were also Bro, overloading with so, joy. After. Wallahi, I feel so happy being here. I feel so, I'm overwhelmed with joy, bro. I can't hold myself. I can't contain myself. Like, I have to open up, man. So, for the dua, I wanted to say, and even my mom has told me, I've heard from a lot of people as well, if you are sinning a lot, if you have a lot of sins, um, your dua, of course, Allah accepts, Allah responds, right? But they just told me, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying this from Quran or Hadith, so it's just like, you. Can, <laughs> this is just an advice. Make more istighfar. The more istighfar you make, inshallah, the like the better it is. And I have noticed this myself, subhanAllah. Allah knows best. Allah knows best. But ever since I make more istighfar and I don't do more dhikr, right? SubhanAllah, when I ask for something, it literally happens. Alhamdulillah, it's mind blowing, bro. SubhanAllah. SubhanAllah. Yeah, that's all. That's all I wanted to say. I like your so shirt, by the way, bro. It's it's the family squad, bro. Family squad, family squad. Family, it's family squad. first. It's a gift from a family, so it's family My squad. Right? Family is a blessing. Right. Family. I, I, uh, sorry for the brothers and sisters out there who know me as a streamer. I used to stream a game on a different channel and everything, but I gave that all up, and I started concentrating on making meaningful contents and everything. And brother Dawood, uh, some of the fans were also actually was commenting about it so i wanted to you know bring this up but apart from that um another special comment was coming about bringing brother daud kim here in the show. So, I, I'm, not, I'm, not connected personally, bro. I'm not connected with him personally but can you make that happen for us i mean that's yeah, the last I question from the viewers can you connect with him and maybe inform him about i mean he has so many fans in bangladesh as well and they are also waiting for a show between me, you, and Brother Daud came in the middle. So, definitely. I will so definitely message him, inshallah. But, as, but I would definitely message him, bro, inshallah. And I pray that he accepts it. But however, you guys know the recent uh, problem that he's been facing, inshallah. And he's been recovering. I did message him, inshallah, a lot of times, few of the times, inshallah. And he uh, did reply back to me. Uh, I asked him if he's doing well, inshallah. He replied a bit late and he said he's doing okay. Alhamdulillah. He said, thank you for uh, uh, looking out uh, for me. And he said he's he has he is taking some time away from social media to okay. uh, reflect to like reflect on uh, his life and everything. Right. And he said that he is taking his time. To study the Quran more, to learn more about the Quran, I was like, "Mashallah, brother, don't take it too hard on yourself. Take it easy, Inshallah. Allah knows best." And uh, there was, I mean, he actually just facing a really hard time coping up with the current situation and everything. Yeah. So, brothers and sisters who are actually requesting us to bring him on the show, we will try. 
it all depends on i think his availability and also if he's actually willing to actually appear in this social media thing because he's been facing some sort of problems but um inshallah so we'll try and try uh, i will try, I will we'll try, try inshallah but allah knows best allah knows best allah like knows best. Allah knows best. if if it's bringing him and giving him the encouragement that you have provided from the Dawood and the way you appreciated his efforts and his appearance. Um, Wallahi, let's see how it goes. Um, the Dawood well, said will try. I, just wanna, I will try, but I just want to let you guys know that the the the, 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 the problems that, he, that he's been facing since uh, recently and he's been off from social media for a while. He messaged me saying that he will take some time off, maybe even quit YouTube. That's what he said. And when he said that, I was shocked. I told him, brother, please don't do that. There are a lot of people who look up to you and look up to the positive I mean, message. I mean, the situation you... is very hard for him to, I guess, cope up with. Yeah. And maybe it this is very requires good. a different discussion uh, perfectly, personally with him, I guess. But now then me will try to have a communication uh, between me, well. him, and others. So we can actually come up with something like that. But if something like that happens, if he agrees, it's completely up to him and his choice. We should all respect everything that's made by these people who are working as influencers out there. Uh, we really respect their choices and their making. But inshallah, we will try to convince him that don't quit it. I mean, quitting it would... I told, no, I told him, I told him really hardly, like, brother, please, please don't stop it. Like, the positive work, look at the positive word and the, the lives of the people that you have changed with your videos and your content. After like a huge talk, then we came to a conclusion where he said, okay, inshallah, if people wait for me, inshallah, if they can wait for me, I will come back. And uh, he said, maybe inshallah. So Allah knows best. He will come back definitely. Inshallah, I will message him again uh, you, after you some all time. Be praying, for, uh, uh, praying for him at this very moment to, um, let's say, concentrate on his life and concentrate on the things that he's dealing with right now. And may Allah make it easy for him. May Allah, Allah make it easy for him because he's our brother. He's all Muslims are brothers. Yes. So remember it. Whenever he's in trouble, we should be considering that trouble as our trouble as well. So keep with respect to him and his current situation. We will try. Let's see how it goes. Well, the last request from our brother, Ashik Allahi, wants us, I mean, I'm just going to say it in English, straightforward to skip the time that we have. He wants us to say La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah together. And the com okay. and the people who have who are already with us in the live will be saying this together as well. I mean, you know, bringing the bring aspiration at his level best with the one and only Kalima. Are you ready? Yeah. One, two, two, three. Three. La ilaha illallah. Wait, wait. Uh, let's have a countdown. Okay, let's have a countdown. Better. Okay, let's say five, four, three, two, one. One. La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Let's say it again. La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah. La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. I hope we weren't pronouncing it in the wrong way, but we tried as best as we could. I tried to keep the request from the brothers and sisters coming from the comments itself. And mashallah, it has been a great live session. Um, before closing, I would like to thank you all, each and everyone from each and every platform who has joined us in this live session or will be seeing this live session afterwards. I would like to thank all of you personally for making this show happen and making this a beautiful environment and also making this possible for Brother Saud and me to have this collaboration together. And inshallah, we'll be coming up with a different concept and a video from both of our side. And let's see how it goes. It's still secret and it's still being cooking in the background. So you'll be seeing a lot of it in the coming future. And inshallah, Brother Daud, a few words before we close this live. Mm. <laughs> um, 
I want to thank the uh, thank the viewers and the fans again for showing so much support. May Allah reward you. It's all by the grace of Allah that we've reached here. All by the grace of Allah. Alhamdulillah. Nothing from us. We we are nothing. It's all from Allah. Alhamdulillah. Allah reward you all for supporting us. Thank you so much. Jazakallahu khairan for everything. Brother Kingo Polis, he told me, Brother Kingo Poli told me when we were talking in private how his followers would DM him my videos saying make videos like <laughs> Even it happened today too. I, I will be completely honest with you. It actually happened today too. Someone giving me the link of your YouTube channel and asking, hey bro, can you make a content like him as well? We really appreciate and love his contents. And bro, I like, I messaged him, wait for today. Wait for a surprise today. And bro, it, 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 actually, it actually went out good because I didn't make any announcement on my page. I didn't make any announcement on any other social media platform that I have that I was about to have a live session with you. And mashallah, each and every individual, without a doubt, I guess, enjoyed and got benefited with the live session that we hosted today. Alhamdulillah. So, Alhamdulillah. Ma mashallah, that has been one hour and 40 minutes long live session. I and think they felt like, like five minutes or something, bro. I, I, am amazed to, I am amazed to realize that too, bro. And mashallah, each and every brothers and sister who has joined us, depriving their personal life and works aside and keeping this live session towards the, from, from the minute zero towards, let's say, it's it's a hundredth minute that we're crossing right now. Mashallah. Um, Brother Dao, thank you so much for joining and thank you each and everyone again. I would like to close this by saying again, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. And may Allah grant us all Jannah. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Okay. Is it good to go? Can I cut it? Yes, bro. Yes. Allah, Allah Hafiz. Bye. Bye.